So today's meditation is actually a an invitation to enter into a day-long practice. Maybe you're already in the space from yesterday's meditation, maybe not. But today in the Christian tradition marks the day of crucifixion, the day of crowning of thorns of a man who was rather humble, the day of whipping almost to the point of death for a man who was a healer of body, mind, heart, and soul. A day of abandonment for a man who was always faithful. A day of unjust trial for a man who embodied justice. A day of being spit upon and hearing words of hatred for a man who exercised only love. Today, we have an opportunity to walk with the tragedy of our human condition. Whether we move back into this historical recollection of Jesus going through these things, whether we recollect what goes on in our world today, locally, nationally, internationally, whether we look at the history of humanity that is still dripping with blood of all of these actions. We are part of this need for liberation and healing. So today I want to invite you, whether you let it be Jesus or not, I encourage you to try to draw close to Jesus for this is the historical marker of that day for him. But if not, if that's not your comfort zone or not your natural inclination, let it be someone or something else and spend your day walking in the presence of love standing undaunted and whole in the face of ignorance. Let's begin together by just taking two minutes in silence and let yourself, because we are in presence together, I'm doing it right now myself, we can draw up, we can draw up a living recollection that can set the stage for us walking together today in this solemnity. I invite you to close your eyes as I do mine and we enter into the silence and the inward recollection of love standing undaunted in the face and in the treatment that comes from ignorance.
And together we walk through this day. I ask that you walk with me and you walk with each, each person that is alive in this world. And I walk with you.